Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage, and welcome back to Sage Biber. Today is episode 8, a very glorious episode for us for very many reasons. The first and foremost being, we merged! No more tribes, it's all one big merge cast. Here's the cast list for you now, so you can kind of be updated on what we're doing as in every survivor, whether it's the show or any org. The first vote of merge is always absolutely insane. Nobody knows where the lines are drawn. Everybody's starting to play for themselves instead of being a team. It suddenly becomes a very individual game where people are vying for the votes of the jury, who is the entire island of the dead, obviously, and blindsiding the shit out of everybody. We have a very good tribal council coming up for you, and I think the end result will shock you. Who's going home tonight? You'll have to find out. I was really bamboozled tonight, and I'm loving it, you know, like, that's part of the game. Tonight, Rossi had the upper end. I'm so glad that it wasn't me tonight. We're all voting Rossi, right? And this little miss thing, she had an idol, and she played it, and her and Blueberry voted for Mia. So, that was bad for the O-geniuses, you know, because like the leader of the old geniuses just perished. Like, or what are we supposed to do? But I knew Mia was a threat and I'm glad that she's out because she won't be a problem for merch. So that's perfect. Now, the, the thing is, Rossi and Blueberry will be problems at merch. I think that I'm still here because of my social game, you know? Like, I've had good discussions with Rossi. I DM'd her, I did some damage control. So I hope that She's considering still working with me because we're 11 now, like like maybe we'll need each other at merge. So I'm hoping she's not too mad at me. She seems to understand. I hope she does, to be honest. Like, I hope we could still work together because, you know, there'll be more players now. So Rossi's not like the person that we need to get out. I really thought it was going to be me. I'm glad that Rossi didn't put my name, so that means that maybe I'm perceived as this sheep, which that's exactly what that's exactly what I want. Because, you know, I'm not showing my cards right now. That's my whole strategy, remember? We've talked about this. I want to stay harmless, you know, just float under the radar and that made me still be here today. So, awesome. Also, Miss Daphne, she spilled the tea again. Like, you know, this girl just can't keep things to herself, apparently. So, what I understand, cause like, Moonlight told me that. Basically, Daphne, she talked about the Alliance Alliance to someone that wasn't from the Alliance Alliance. Like, she spilled the beans. And why would she do this? Does that mean she don't trust us anymore? Like, you know, Miss Daphne, I'm not starting to think that's funny, you know, like, you're just making yourself a threat at this point. You know, like, she had immunity from Gumby, she spills the alliance, she has the alliance of four. So yeah, like, Daphne is becoming a threat, and like, you know, what do we do to threats? We get rid of them. Talking about the alliance of four, so the way Moonlight learned about the fact that Daphne spilled the tea about the alliance alliance is that she had a convo with Donnie and Donnie asked her about this alliance alliance. So who would have told Donnie? Someone from the alliance alliance because nobody else knew. And Donnie was in the Quakovoka with Daphne. I thought he was gonna be this threat at merge. I think that he does have more alliance than he says because you know, he was like, I didn't talk to any anyone else. Yeah, that's bullshit. And Mia called him out before leaving on the, the tribal chat, she spilled. She said all the tea. She said facts after facts about Donnie. She buried him six feet under, as she should, to be honest. I think we need to be careful about Donnie because he has power now, at least in this tribe. So we'll see. Maybe me and Moonlight will go with Blueberry and Rossi, who knows? But like, these last two tribals were pretty detrimental for my game, yeah. I'm really glad, because this is Survivor, you know? So I'm really glad that I experienced a blindside without being the one who goes, like, that's the best of both worlds. I'm glad it's Mia and not Moonlight, because I'm closer with Moonlight 
and Mia was more of a social threat. Also, at Tribal, just after Rossi played her idol, Moonlight in the OGenesis chat said, oh my god, should I play my idol? So now I know she has one. And we talked about it after Tribal and you know, we made sure it would stay between us until I feel the need to tell it, you know? So yeah, now I know something I shouldn't know. A lot of things went down. I'm still slaying, you know? I'm still here in the final 11 and we'll see what's next. All right, episode eight. We're in the fucking March, baby, it's fucking good. Been waiting for this time for a while now, like, Merge is always the milestone you want to hit in the org. It's, it's when the game begins. It's like the time you want to get. Like, if you don't make the merge, we're like, why are you even play survival? Like, come on. This is why we're playing for it. This is what we're playing for. It's the merge. And it's going to be an interesting, interesting time. I have a lot of good connections with people. And I'm really glad that I have those connections. I have strong connections with Gumby who, even though I don't see myself working with him because he's so close to Daphne, even though I probably like won't work with him, he's gonna give me information, he's gonna try to pull me in, he's gonna see me as a number, so, great. And then, sorry about that, we have uh, Craig who now lost Snowy. He's gonna be more reliant on me, and he's gonna need me more in this game, which is perfect. So, he's keeping me around for a while. Nova and Kali, I got my final three alliance, the Bobas with them. They're still super strong with me. I don't think at this point in the game they're gonna flip on me. I don't think they will, quite frankly, until like way later on, but that's for a different story. I got them. <clears throat> Vince and Moonlight are still very close to me. Even though I know Moonlight's very social, she's like a very social person. I'm still, I think, up there in her trust rankings, which is nice. And then Vince, he was the one that came to me about the plan to blindside Snowy on my old, I think, Yago Mate tribe. Yeah. So he still trusts me because I never ratted him out. I never ruined his game. And we've always had that kind of strategical connection. So I think he's going to want to keep me around for a while. Besides my connections, though, there's people I kind of didn't get the chance to meet that well or talk to that well. People like uh, Blueberry. Uh, Rochi. I think that's about it, quite frankly. Yeah, I... I haven't gotten to, like, talk to those two that well, and I know they're kind of, like, working together, so they're... They're people who I, I kind of want to, like, slide in with, you know? I want to get a alliance in with them that no one really knows about, so... I think that's a good goal. Besides that though, I think there's kind of an alliance brewing, a big alliance brewing, which is the five, you know, the four original people in my tribe, excluding Snowy, that we had an alliance with. So me, Craig, Nova Kali, and then we're kind of wanting to bring in Moonlight and Vince because me and Craig were close to them on my old tribe. I think that six would be pretty solid. It's a very good group of people. Only problem is we gotta make sure Nova Kali get to meet Moonlight and Vince because they haven't met each other yet. But they're both very active people. And if we give it like a day or so, I bet you they'll talk enough to the point where we can get that alliance brewing and we'll have numbers. Besides that though, I'm kind of, I want to be as active as possible in the beginning of Merge just to set myself up later for the rest of Merge because I know once it gets towards the later rounds, I'm gonna lose motivation. I'm gonna be busy with like college and other stuff. So I kind of want to make sure I'm grading my position on the drive so that I'm set up for success later. Yeah, besides that though, I see, I honestly see Donnie being a huge target for the first tribal council. He's been killing the challenges like I thought I did decent by winning the immunity challenge with like 10 minutes, 55 seconds. He won it with like six minutes. Like, bro, you're crazy. You're crazy at challenges. Everyone knows he's crazy at challenges too, which makes him a huge threat. And the way he talks to people is just like off-putting, you know? Like when he talks to you, he's like trying to be off for any like buddy-buddy with you, but you can tell his intentions aren't there. He's a, he's an older dude and I think 
because of that, the way you text people isn't how most of us would because we're all younger, like in our teens, 20, like 20s kind of vibe. So he's not going to understand really how to, you know, interact with us as well, I feel like. And I think that makes him stand out a bit. I think it makes him a target. Even though he's a nice person, genuinely, people don't really seem to like him too much. So I think he's going to get the boot if we go to trial next, which is perfect for me. Increases my odds of making it to the end, you know, one step at a time, that kind of stuff. Anyways, goals for this upcoming thing. I, I want to smooth in everything I have with Daphne because she's a very emotional player. What happened at her last travel council, Craig's alliance that he made got leaked to Daphne. Daphne was fucking pissed off. She completely ghosted me and Craig. Even though I didn't do anything, I didn't make the alliance, I didn't target Gumby, I didn't do any of that shit. But I'm kind of taking the fall for that. Which is really fucking annoying because I don't want to. Because I, I know me and Daphne don't talk a lot, I don't see myself working with Daphne that much. But at least, like, we could have had a conversation about the vote, and she didn't do that. It shows me she's an emotional player, and she's not going to think strategically with like, upcoming votes. <clears throat> kind of shows the player she is. I know her and Craig got into a massive argument at the start of the merge. Like, insanely massive. Because I'm pretty sure no one told her that Snowy was the vote. I could be mistaken on that. I feel like Gumby probably told her. Maybe he didn't, I'm not too sure. But I think Daphne felt really betrayed by the fact that she wasn't included. And I'm like, bro, it's the game. Like, come on. You're gonna be left out of alliances if you aren't doing all the work to be in the alliances. That's how the game works. She's pissed off, I'm like, yeah, you have the right to be pissed off. At the same time, like, you're ruining your game by not trying to get back in with us, you know? It makes it awkward for my connection with Gumby though, because Gumby's really close to Daphne. He wants to work with Daphne, he's on that side. But I'm, all my Alliance members, all people I've built trust with, are on the other side who don't really like Daphne. So it'll be interesting. I wanna come to terms with him, be like, oh, we're on two different sides, but we can exchange information and later in the game, we'll make a smaller Alliance that'll help us both get farther. Because at this point, I don't see him as too big of a threat. I don't think Gumby's that great of a player. I think if I take him to the final two, I can beat him for sure. It's just a matter of being able to get there and find a way to get us both in a good position. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, all my connections are solid, really. Besides, I have to work on Rochi and Blueberry because they're new and I think they're a duo. What happened at their travel was kind of wacky. Heard that it was a four to two vote. Four people voted for Rochi. And then Rochi and Blueberry voted for Mia. Rochi plays the idol, blindsides Mia, and then Mia goes home with an idol in her pocket, which is crazy. It shows to me though, there's idols out there. And I'm gonna have to go try out on these idol guesses, bro. I kind of, I kind of didn't get an idol first time around. I lost my idol piece. So my goal right now is I have to find a way to get my hands on an idol because that can be so key in this game, bro. I already have an extra vote for when I need to like make my move on somebody, but having an idol too is like even more protection for myself because then I can be riskier. Then I can make more moves because it saves me around, you know? So I'm gonna be guessing a whole bunch. I guarantee you more idols will be out there in play. And I'm kinda shocked because I thought we just could be too much. I thought the idols worked in a way that you get have to find three idol pieces, and once you find those three idol pieces, then you have a full idol. I thought that's how it worked, but apparently they found an entire idol from one guess. To me, that's crazy. Now I just have to keep on guessing and ask other people for guesses, like what they're guessing. So that way I can be improve the way I find an idol and hopefully get an idol. That'd be really sick. Either way though, I don't need an idol. My game is all under the radar, social. Make sure I'm on a target, make sure everyone wants to work with me. So yeah. 
that's kind of the way I've been playing this game. Like I have a lot of options constantly. People are always coming to me with information and what they want to do. And that's fine with me because as long as they want to do what they want to do and I'm a part of it, it's great. I don't want to be the one making decisions, even though I do want to. If I'm the one, it's just in that scenario when I do make these decisions, then I'm the target. I don't want to be the one people see as some big threat. I want to be the guy people go to when they're stressed out, they need numbers, they need someone to vote with. I'm the guy they go to like, yeah, I trust you. I'm working with you. And I feel like I've done a great job of like building trust. That's all it comes down to is trust. And that's all I'm gonna keep on working on trust, trust, trust. I trust you, you trust me, we work together. And eventually, when it comes down to it, if I have to backstab somebody, I backstab them, they don't expect it, but I leave a good taste of myself. And no, I'm not saying that. But I, I like leave a good impression of myself on them. So like even if I vote somebody out, they're gonna be like they're gonna respect my game. I'm like, yeah, you got me, bro, good job. Like well played, that's what I want. I don't want any bitterness. I've been saying that since the beginning. As long as I can keep it like that, I think I'm smooth rolling to the end of this game. And I really think I have a good shot at the moment to win this game. I know it's a bit early, but I'm just praying that I can keep my connections, make sure I'm good. Yeah, that's it. Kind of rambled on for a bit, but uh, episode eight, first confessional. We'll see how the vote goes. Hopefully not. Peace. Um, okay, I was not ready to film right now. Um, fuck. Okay, so Rosie's like the biggest snake in this whole game. Like, I'm so sick of her already. She literally told Donnie that he's the target and now like joined his new alliance with like those weirdos. Um, and then like Blueberry's pretending to be in it, but I'm pretty sure that he's just being fake. But I called her ass out because <clears throat> you're not gonna like sit in my group, say like, oh yeah, Donnie's the target, blah, blah, blah. And then flip to join him. Like he has no loyalty to you. And you, he literally voted for her last, <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. What does she think she's accomplishing right now? Like making herself look like a dumbass? Oh my god. <sighs> so I don't know what to do anymore. I kind of want to flip this shit on Rosie. I didn't mean to curse like four times in this video, but like I'm so mad. Um, I want Donnie gone. Like that's all I want, but I. <laughs> Apparently, people want to use him as a shield and like, all right, do that. I'll just get you first. What? Um. Yeah, I'm speechless, honestly. Like, I might just like get Ro Rosie out at this point, whatever her name is, like. <laughs> that is so funny that she thought that would work. Be so serious, like. I'm just, that's funny. She has an extra vote too, everyone knows now. Like, she's playing just as messy as Donnie is, honestly. Um, so yeah. I am voting one of the two of them. I'm doing damage control with Donnie since um, that snake wanted to leak our actual plans. Um, and did she not realize that the last person that got voted out for leaking an alliance, like... So, it's her turn, I guess. If she wants to save Donnie so bad, save him. I'll get her. I don't know. I'm repeating the same things. I'm mad as hell, and I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna flip the script, honestly, at this point. I don't care. Like, I can, I can control Donnie. He won't hate me but I need this girl to go. We're on challenge nine and it's feast day. So I got put in the destroy Donnie chat, which has been so much fun. We've had a lot of dramatic talks about hating Donnie, <laughs> which, you know, he's just, I don't know. 
Like he was trying to play nicey nice with me and it's all just fake. And he asks a thousand questions and doesn't answer any of my questions or offer any information. I feel like I'm being interrogated and I don't get anything in return. So that was annoying, but like, whatever. I knew to be cautious around him, but then he's talking to everybody else at the same time. He's talking to Gumby and me and Gumby, as you know, are super tight. And for whatever reason, Donnie really trusts Gumby. So Gumby's coming right back to me being like, Donnie is like talking shit about you. Like he's calling you a liar. Cause I mean, I was trying to give Donnie like vague truths, but there were some things that like I ended up just lying about and I guess he had other information from other people. So whatever. He realizes he can't take me at my word, but like it doesn't really matter because I wasn't going to tell him anything valuable anyway, because everybody that comes to me says, don't trust Donnie, get rid of Donnie. That's like not a good sign for him. You know what I mean? So I'm in this anti Donnie group. Unfortunately, Moonlight and Craig aren't in that group. I've like resolved things with Craig. We're cordial, we're fine. It was a misunderstanding. Apparently he was gonna communicate with Moonlight that he got put in an alliance without her, but with all the swapping, it didn't happen. And then you, you kinda know, whatever, we worked it out. Things will never go back to 100% how they were before, but at least we're not at each other's throats. So they weren't included in this anti-Donny group chat. And obviously Donnie wasn't, and then Vinny wasn't. So literally everybody else that survived out of the 11 to the merge is in it. So I got kind of put into a tight spot because I talked all this shit about Craig not being honest with his alliances. So I was like, okay, I need to play this fair. The sole purpose of the alliance at the moment, at least, is to get rid of Donnie. So I told them about it. <laughs> I told them about it and I pray they don't leak that I told him about it because some people in that chat don't trust Moonlight because she got associated with Donnie out of like fear of him. Like she just had to agree with him on stuff because she didn't want to be targeted by him. Understandable. But if the larger group were to find out I was telling Moonlight what was happening, they might panic and think that Moonlight would just tell everything I told her to Donnie. And then it makes me look like a rat, you know what I mean? But really, I'm just trying to prove loyalty. I'm just trying to be a good person. I'm just trying to be a good person. I begged her not to say anything. And I pray Craig doesn't say anything. Like, I trust Moonlight. I'd be shocked if she slipped up and like let it known I was leaking stuff. Even though like, it's just getting her on the same page against Donnie too. If she's truly against Donnie, which I, be I believe in my heart she is. I will be shocked if she's not. And that would be kind of devastating. But yeah, we need to figure out a way to get her into like an alliance with the numbers going forward because the Donnie hater group could pretty much just turn into like, hey, this is convenient. We're a large group against a smaller group, you know, kind of thing. And I, I, it would be sad if she got targeted. Craig, I'm on decent terms with, but like, it's just never going to be the same. And I wouldn't be like that upset. I would be upset if Moonlight was upset about Craig getting voted out, but like, He's not one of the people I'm the closest to at this point, just being blunt. I don't have a vendetta against him. I'm not like targeting him, but he's not like somebody I'm desperate to protect because I have a personal connection with them. People I do have a personal connection with is Moonlight as my number one OG, Gumby as my bestie. Then I have Nova because he is a sweetheart, though I could probably, I, I just don't know like who Nova's in with which kind of scares me a little bit. Like, I don't know if I'm their strongest or one of their top connections. So I might be low on his list, which would mean I'm standing Nova and like trying to protect Nova unevenly. You know, like I wouldn't be necessarily getting the same thing in return. I don't know, I don't, I, I can't tell, but I hope so. <laughs> I hope he feels similarly about me in the way that I feel about him. And then obviously Kaylee, Kaylee is amazing and great, and I want her to stay in the game for a long time too. So those are my priority people. That's like my top four. But yeah, so since you know that's my top four, let me tell you about how I ranked the feast. I was talking with Moonlight in DM. I basically told her I would give her cake. Hopefully she gives me cake back. <laughs> so I have to give her cake, because I said I would. And if she finds out she didn't receive a single piece of cake, it will be obvious that I lied. 
I'm like, I want to give her the cake, but I also really want to give Gumby cake. And I don't want Gumby to not have any cake and then look at me like, why didn't I get any cake from you? So it's like, oh, I can't have two number ones. I can't have two number ones. And like my two number ones don't necessarily know about each other. I don't think like maybe Moonlight a little bit. I don't remember what I've told them, <laughs> but I think they would both expect cake from me, which is a little awkward. So I gave Moonlight my cake because she basically, you know, said she wanted to give me cake and she wanted to get cake for me. So it was already talked about, I have to do it. And then I just gave Gumby the loaf of bread, which is rank nine. And then I gave Nova the sponge log, which is rank eight. I gave Donnie the meat pie, which is rank seven because Gumby gave him rank four and I wanted to balance it out. So I really want Donnie to be dead middle. It's really hard with lowest and highest getting immunity to like balance that out. <sighs> it's a panic. I don't know. Like literally everybody is going to be pretty much in the middle. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if there'll be like an outstanding high number and an outstanding low number, you know? It's going to be close if I was going to guess, but I could be wrong. I gave Vinny six. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know where Vinny's going to rank. I, he's, he's not, I don't know who he's connected with. Rosie, I gave five. Blueberry, I gave four. I gave Kaylee one because I really like Kaylee and I can't put everybody at the top. So I was like, okay, I'll put her at the lowest and then maybe other people will vote her lowest in the idea like her getting immunity also, you know? So I gave her one and then I gave Craig two um, because I'm still aligned with him. I gave James three because James is like fine and I think James will probably get higher numbers too and I think a three will put him more in the middle. So yeah, that's the reasoning behind my rankings and we'll see how this goes. It's a pretty chill, easy challenge. I can just relax tomorrow until the results. <laughs> so, bye. I realized I didn't talk about myself at all. <laughs> I'll be curious to see how I rank and like what food items I receive. I'm really not that fussed about it to be honest. Um, I'm not expecting getting like any immunity <laughs> at all. I mean, that would be great, but I'm not like crossing my fingers for it. It's like, whatever. I, th I really think it's gonna be a mixed bag. But yeah, it would be nice to get a chocolate cake. I'm just here chilling, <laughs> praying I don't get voted out and praying Donnie doesn't get immunity. That's my main focus right now. And also getting Moonlight back on good terms with a larger group. Okay, another update. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a couple minutes, another update. I was talking with Craig in my alliance with him and Moonlight, and he's like, I think we should probably really lock down the top and bottom spot. And I was like, you know what? Everybody's being kind of hush-hush about it. I think people are kind of shy to be like, oh, like I can be the top spot or I could be the bottom spot because they don't want to like, I don't know, they just don't want to seem greedy for immunity. It's like tiptoeing. I kind of tiptoe too, honestly. But I truly think that is the smartest play and it was a great recommendation. And like he saying that like really just gave me the confidence to just recommend it to the anti Donny group. So that's what I did. <laughs> I pretty much just said, I really think we need to lock in those two spots, just like Craig said. And I just recommended people, you know, cause it's, that's the awkward part. So I just recommended Gumby as being the top spot. So people should vote him like 10 or nine and then Kaylee as the bottom spot. So rank her like one or two. That way we don't end up like middle roading each other. Like I don't want people to be like, oh, like randomly ranking us kind of high, like mixed all in because then we'll just all be in the middle, right? Like I'm not a mathematician, but I feel like we'll just end up kind of being in the middle and I don't want Donnie to get lucky. I don't want to seem like I hate this man. Like he's just a person again, like we're all just people here, but the team has, the tribe has a mission right now. And the mission is our common dislike of Donnie. <laughs> But yeah, it's like midnight when I recommended this. So people are pretty much asleep, but I tagged everybody's name. So it should really pop up for them in the chat. So hopefully they notice it as soon as they wake up and um, get their votes in or edit their votes. I don't know at what point submissions are final because <laughs> I submitted mine and Sage pinned them a while back. But the people I recommended, I already wrote, um, I already ranked accordingly to my recommendation. So hopefully this works out. So with Maze Elimination, we 
find out that um, unfortunately Snowy gets eliminated and it turns out that he was like leaking alliances, he was trying to play both sides, probably going a bit hectic, he's a bit, a bit chaotic in a way, we love him though but yeah that happened it's really sad to see that in total there was four Yago's eliminated back to back because we had Link then Donut's Eviction then Mia and Snowy so that kind of sucks because I really envisioned Mia and Snowy and like the whole Alliance Alliance making it to merge but we did make merge F11 was indeed merge and it really sucks that they both like just missed out but we move on we do our best um merge was pretty hectic i was at work at the time and um gosh everyone like all the messages it is so hectic i mean craig wanted to call me we had a nice t 10 minute mat uh, 10 minute call to clear some stuff up about the whole alliance leak issue and daphne really hating him for it um, but I was able to clear things up with me and Craig. Me and Craig are good. Um, he seemed pretty happy that me and Vince were good. So uh, apparently there was a lot of fighting with Craig and Daphne. I think they're in a good place now, but it was like really kind of bad over there, which really sucks. But yeah, we did it. We made merge and um, I'm really, really excited. I was pretty much asked by Craig if I wanted to be in alliance with me, him, Vince, um, Kelly, Nova, ooh, and James. I don't know how I forgot James, my bad, but the six of us. So um, me thinking, wow, this is kind of really, really cool, but also kind of worries me. I don't know if this is a real alliance, like Daphne's not even in it, Gumby's not in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. It could be a really great alliance. Like I, I feel like I feel relatively like okay with it. Um, but it could be just a fake alliance just to make it look like we have a majority and trying to get like, you know, information from Craig, me and Vince into seeing what we're doing, who, how we're voting. So, uh, that will be interesting. I did make an alliance chat with Daphne and Craig hopefully to try to like help sync things sort out and everything um they do seem to be okay now maybe it won't like be how it was in those first couple of days we had like marooned and we got along really well but uh that's okay I guess it's better than nothing she seems to be telling us information she's in this uh anti <laughs> donny group that me and craig and vince and obviously donny are not in so it's literally everybody else but us which really really sucks um because i apparently have been lumped into the donny love club i guess i don't really know how um but at the same time i kind of know how because i really was on his side on the other tribe even though I wasn't I was just trying to be on his good side because I was worried if I eliminated him he would hate me the fear of having the dead haunt you is actually very real because I do remember Craig getting a disadvantage a lot earlier where if he had an idol it would have broken and that is what's actually tripping me out about the dead so um just trying to do my best to be friends with everyone to be nice and kind um heading into merge was really weird because nova Callie, and gumby are the only ones i've never been on a tribe with the only ones that i barely talk to maybe like little chats with the hotel but i hoping to just really really be nice to them and really hoping to connect with them but this far into the game it's very hard to try to secure their trust over other people that they've spent literally the last couple of weeks with. So I guess we'll see if this alliance of six works out. Okay. Good news. We we made merch. Awesome. That's that's great. I, I love being at merch. It, it opens up the game and um, it just creates such a powerful dynamic between gameplay and strategy and uh, the social aspects and all these people coming together to try to figure out a plan and try to figure out 
what's gonna happen and then you know the, the jury happens so I'm really happy to have made merch and I'm really curious to see where um, the game is gonna go now so I was really looking forward to a challenge because I thought these challenges are all are all really uh, either really positive or really social now the social ones I kind of suck at uh, if you can't really you know backstab and stuff um, but I do like the puzzle ones. They have been they've been great for me. And um, just a sec. What was that? All right. Um, mm. Right. So I think I can do good at puzzle challenges. The social challenges not so much, and then the bad luck happened to be the case that the first challenge was indeed a social challenge. And um, as usual, I totally misjudged my place in the game. And I thought I could bring immunity here if I just move the pieces right. But it turned out that there's 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 five duos in the game, and then there's me. <laughs> I thought I was part of a duo with maybe Gumby or anybody, um, but that wasn't the case. You know, there's Blueberry and Rosie, clearly, uh, and there's Vincenzo and Moonlight, clearly, and then in the other tribe there are six people. Daphne and Gumby are definitely really close, Nova and Kali are really close, and James and Craig are really close. And I'm just kind of in the middle of everybody. Which is a hard place to be, but it's also a place where I try to put myself in on purpose. Um, because in previous orgs I've experienced that fully trusting one person didn't work out for me. So I really try to play a me game here where I just don't care what happens to anybody as long as I'm safe. And if that means that I have to throw my best ally on the bus, then I will do so. If that makes it so that I can go to Final Trouble Council, or at least Final 4, 5-ish, and then work out my game plan, that's, that's, that's a good plan for me. But that, that does make it scary that uh, I ended up in the middle <laughs> of this, this, this challenge, this challenge where you have to rank people from 1 to 10, and the one with the most points with immunity, and the one with the least points with immunity. And then I was just like, snap dab in the middle. There was no... I wasn't even close to guessing um, what I wanted to guess. Which is fine. Uh, we, don't, we need immunity, also a full skill. A full, uh, you know... <clears throat> let me try again. A full... Immunity win streak doesn't get you uh, the win because you also need social game. So I'm happy to prove that I can play socially, which didn't work, <laughs> which didn't work at all. Because um, so here's what happened, as far as I know. So Rosie goes to everybody from the other tribe and tells them that I'm a snake. I can't be trusted. Uh, I spent all the money and. Everything that's going on is, is Donnie's fault. Which, I mean, yeah, I've not been the nicest person to Rosie, but I don't think I've lied to her or to Blue. Um, I think that she has been lying about me a lot, and that she's starting to believe her own lies. And now she's at a point where she has to cut me out the gate, where she knows I'm coming for her. So everybody was like, okay, we're gonna vote Donnie, but what do we tell Donnie? So everybody thought we were gonna tell Donnie that it's Craig, so I thought we were gonna vote Craig, which is, I was fine with that, but I had a gut feeling that it was me. You know, the, the way people talk to you or just don't talk to you, it's it's really telling when they're voting for you. It's, there's a real difference, and people think they're being really smart when they're not. It was very clear that I was a target by multiple people. Kali just didn't talk to me at all, at no point, even though she has immunity. Um, uh, um, Blueberry just dodged questions. Nova was like, hey, who's the vote? Oh, it's Craig, okay, cool. Um, James just kind of went like, yeah, cool, do whatever. It was very telling. But I've learned to just go with it. Just go with it and then trust the system in the hope that something, somewhere, somebody might do something that might save you, because that's... In a previous org, that's how I got voted out. People were willing to... Um, to work with me, but because I... talked the way I do, people were like, what the fuck's going on here? You gotta get them out of the game. So, I did what I had to do, which is just... tell people that it's Craig and hope for a miracle. 
And then Rosie, of all people, comes to me. She goes like, hey man, I heard your name. So I'm like, whoa, what the fuck, Rosie? Thanks. Now watch. And then Moonlight comes to me. She's like, hop, hop on Discord. I have a plan. So Moonlight has this amazing plan. Where she gets Moonlight, Vincenzo, Craig, because he's also with her on the by everybody. Uh, me. Um... Uh, uh, Rosie and Blue to work together six and to work out those five because they clearly hold the power now. If we can get rid of them, we win. And I thought, that's great. That's awesome. Do we trust those people? And, you know, Moon's like, yeah, we can trust them. It's, uh, you know, it's just uh, Craig is genuine and Rosie seems genuine. But then Blue gets asked, does he want to join? And he's like, I don't know, man, because Vincenzo and Moon might want me out. And they're like, it's a good point, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair. So Blue tells the other group, hey man, Rosie and others are voting for you guys. And the game explodes. People get mad at Rosie. They 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 call her a snake, she's a two-faced bitch, Ev- like everything. And I'm just there like, God, I hope this is true. I hope, I hope so much this is true. And that we can just vote at Rosie. But Moonlight and Vincenzo still want to keep her. But here's the thing, we now know, we know, we know for a fact that Rosie went to people, told them to vote me, and then went to us and was like, hey, Donnie's a vote. So not only does she throw me under the bus, she has thrown almost everybody under the bus. Why are we keeping this person? I get it, okay? We might get five votes and then we might get six and we might have majority. But it's Rosie, she's just gonna backstab us. If we don't do it now, she's gonna do it later. She can't be trusted. I'd rather risk, I'd rather risk my life in the hands of people that I know want me out, than people who pretend to want me in. Because at least then I know where I am, and then I can play from the bottom. And playing from the bottom is something people do. Playing with a rifle in your game? That's annoying, and Rosie will go for me. Vote after vote after vote after vote. I'll play from the bottom, I can deal with. Because then I know where I am. If people can win from the bottom, I can win from the bottom. It's, you know, I don't have to be likable. I just have to be more likable than the person sitting next to me in front of our council. I think I can do that. So, Moana and Vincenzo are probably still voting with Rosie. And uh, everybody else is voting on Rosie. Um... I'm waiting for Craig to return from his movie uh, to see what he wants to do. But I think we're just going Rosie out. And um, if everybody's telling me it's Rosie and it's me, then good for them. I applaud them. And um, they will not be getting my vote <laughs> from the jury. Then then it's going to be Vincenzo or Moon. But oh God, I just hope Rosie goes out now. This is the third in a row and I'm so done with her. And her lying, sneaky snake ass victimizing personality that I just have no sympathy for whatsoever. Like, it's it's as if God spilled a human. That's Rosie. 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 Rochi? I don't even care anymore. It's probably Rochi because she's like a roach. That feels like a good point to end. I hope I can make it a professional. Because, oh my god, this game is fun, it's chaotic, I love it, it's so messy. can't wait to see who gets to here. <sighs> god, I wish I had an idol now. Oh god, I, I, uh, I hope I see people tomorrow again. Then here was... This all, I like last minute, it's just me mumbling. I'm thinking if I want to say more stuff, I don't think so. I'm just thinking about if it's me and I'm just being lied to. I don't feel like I'm being lied to. There's always this gut feeling, you know? There's always this feeling of what if, like what if, what if, what if, what if. What if? So, last tribal was a really hard one for me. I had to vote out my uh, little devil, Snowy. I really did try to do everything in my power to save him. I even had a call with James about an hour or two before to see if we could do anything to switch it around. But with Gumby voting Snowy and Daphne's vote up in the air, there was really nothing I could do. 
So, um, I was feeling pretty down that whole day. I was still recovering from the Alliance leak and this whole snowy blow up. I just wasn't seeing a path to the end. So, as I was drowning in my self pity, a little miracle happened. We hit the merge. So, now I had to wipe up my tears because it's game time. So, the first thing I do is I call my girl Moon because I have to make sure we're on the same page because I know Daphne has a lot of very negative things to say about me. So I call her and she explains that it was because of the leak and she saw the alliance between me and Snowy and James and Vince freaked out so she freaked out but she said she wasn't upset and honestly seems like she wants to move past it. So that's good. So as I'm trying to repair all these relationships, meet all these new people, I get put into a little therapy chat with Daphne and Nova as our therapist, of course. Now, it started off a little rocky. There was harsh words said, there was fighting. But at the end of the day, I think we made up at least as much as me and Daphne can really make up. So after that, it was time to gather the troops, so I went to Moon and I went to Vince and they both seemed on board, so I roped them in with James and Novi and Nova and Callie, and it seems like we got a nice little six going, for now at least. The issue here is Nova and Callie have so many options in this game because the way the vote went down, it made it look like me and Snowy were to blame. And I think that kind of made Nova and Callie look like the heroes in that situation. I know Callie has some sort of relationship with Daphne outside of the game. And Nova and Gumby, I imagine, are at least a little close after that. So there could be a four person alliance there. And from what I've heard, there is this whole alliance called the Donnie Destroyers or something, which I heard about from Daphne of all people over my own alliance, which is a very bad sign. So that alliance is everyone in the game except me, Donnie, Moon, and Vince, which is not great. Luckily, a little after, James told me. So I know that James and Moon and Vince will be loyal to me. And I know Daphne will be loyal to Moon, and I do think she wants to work with me, at least in the short term. So, if everything goes to plan, Donnie should be the next L. And then things should get a lot more interesting. So I've talked to Moon, and she's told me that she has a block of vote and an idol, which means between the two of us, we have two vote blocks and an idol. Which is a lot of power that I'm very, very excited to use. So after that, it was time... So Moon and I talked for about two hours today, and just really caught up on everything. And from what I've gathered from this, is Roxy and Blue have some sort of alliance. And Donnie thinks that he's good with them, but they are a part of the Donnie Destroyers. So I'm gonna guess that's not the case. Also, for some reason, Donnie and Moon are being looked at as this close pair. So now Moon's all worried that if Donnie does go out, she could be a target in the near future and even get disadvantages from Donnie on the Island of the Dead. And for my tribe, it seems like Kali and Nova are very much in the middle of everything. So, as much as James is trying to tell me that this six could be strong for a while, I just feel like if I'm not careful, Nova and Kali could just post all the way to the end. Because once Donnie's gone, they are officially in alliance with every player left in the game. So I might have to get with Moon. 
and try to shake things up a little bit as I do. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it yet, but if we can get past one vote after the Donny vote, if we can get to nine, and we can get the original Yagos together, me and me, Moon, Vince, and Daphne, we could play our block of votes, and we could flip the whole game, then we go into a 4-4 with an idol. Now that's like worst case scenario, because obviously I want to keep James with me as long as possible, because I do think he will be loyal, at least until the end game. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm def definitely not just going to sit around and wait for Nova and Callie to pick me off. As for the most recent vote, the only thing I am a little concerned about is how public me and Daphne's rivalry is. Now it could be a good thing because we have actually patched it up, but it still could paint a target on our backs. Like I have heard rumors that Donnie wants to use that to make one of us the target instead of him. So if there is some sort of advantage played, I could be the one out because of it. But I am hoping that since I have talked a lot of game with Donnie, that if that's the case, he would take Daphne out instead. But until we find out who wins immunity, I really can't worry about it too much. Hey everyone, it's Wee Weary, episode 8, confessional. Ignore how tired I look, again, school's not fun. So, uh, just a little recap, that Rosy Idol play was incredible. I was the second vote to get rid of Mia, which went well, and I have made the merge. I'm pretty excited about that. And I was added to this alliance, which was just like, screw Donnie, get him out, which was like, I'm just naming people off the tip of my tongue. Me, Daphne, Kaylee, James, Gumby, Nova. I want to say that's it. It was like six or seven people. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and Rosie. Rosie's in it. I don't know if I said her. So we're just all like, screw Donnie. And we just had such a fun conversation. Just absolutely flaming him because he he talks about loyalty and honesty but he's not and it's just so funny just to watch it all so this this was being recorded before the results of the competition i'm not i don't expect to win this but like it would be cool if i did but just donnie doesn't win that's good for us he could have something from the auction i don't know but like honestly that's about it, like besides me finally meeting Craig, that's like the only person I haven't gotten to know yet. He seems pretty cool, it's really nice bonding again with James who's cool, Nova who's cool, Daphne who is cool again, and oh wait, I'm forgetting one more thing. Decided to analyze with those four people from the, the people from my second swap tribe that, like me, Rosie, Moonlight, Vince, which is everyone minus Donnie on that swap tribe, which is like pretty cool. But honestly, that's like about all I have to say. And I hope I see everyone in episode nine. I'm proud I've gone this far and who knows, I could definitely go all the way. I have the points shaked out. It, I got immunity, but somehow James did, um, which makes sense. There's a, I think there's four of them that weren't in the group chat, including Donnie, of course. So. It was very close and Gumby was really upset about that. So I'm wondering like what happened, but yeah. Anyway, James and me are immune. This is, it's really cool. I've never been immune before and it's really, really nice. I wasn't really worried anyway, cause everyone is like, get the fucking Donnie out of here because the whole structure we decided was to make sure that he didn't win immunity so we can get him out, which thank God, because I've known Donnie, he was in my very first tribe. And right away, I'm like, this guy, is the most manipulative, uh, fake as fuck player I've ever seen in my life. And I was shocked that he was still in the game at this point. So if things go well tonight, we'll get Donnie out. Um, I already voted for him. And after that, I don't really know what to expect. It'll be the final 10, which is amazing. I never thought I'd make it here. So 
you know, I'm okay if I don't make it further, honestly. <laughs> final 10 is really, really nice and amazing. It'd be cool to make it to final 6, I guess, if I had to make a new goal. But honestly, I am alright with, if I, you know, bow out, I'm alright. But, yeah. It's been really fun. I've enjoyed it. And I'm excited to see what is in store. I'm sure things is going to get a little crazy now that we're only one group. And it's just individual and, like, immunity and things like that. So... Yeah, um, no really big updates other than that. The Bobas, which is James, myself, and Nova are going strong. Hopefully we can like crush it to the end, that'd be amazing. Um, there's a lot of weird groups going on. There's like the Donnie Destroyers, which doesn't have Craig, Moonlight, Donnie of course, and Vince, which is interesting. I don't know why um, those three were excluded. So it makes me want to be wary of them. But it's going to be interesting once Donnie's out, I think, because he's the easiest target. He's the easiest vote I've ever made, honestly. And after he's gone, I feel like that's when the games will really start again. So that is what is up with me. I'm excited, but nervous and, you know, just happy to be here. So I will definitely be here tomorrow since I won immunity. But after that, it is a gamble. So let's keep playing. First things first is we made it to the final merge. I literally cannot believe I made it this far. Honestly, when I first started the game, I, like even before I got into the game actually, I didn't think I would make it that long. I thought for sure I'd get out like really, really early on. So I can't believe we made it to the final merge. Um, not much to talk about actually. Um, well, I guess kind of. Uh, just an update last vote before the merge we voted out snowy which really hurt my heart and I felt really bad about because I told him I would tell him if he was gonna get voted out and initially like when I said that I meant it um, but after what happened with him like leaking all the information on all these tribes and all this <laughs> pretty like important information to other people it just I just didn't trust him anymore so um, it was really hard and I debated on it for a long time and I really wanted to tell him but I didn't just because he broke my trust when he was breaking everyone's trust basically so he just wasn't trustworthy enough so I didn't feel like if I told him this information it would just be between us which every day before that I thought was the case so um yeah, that was probably the hardest thing so far this season. I almost like decided to quit the game after that just because it really hurt really bad <laughs> to do that and it just made me feel like a bad person. Um, but after I found out that he was kind of doing the same thing with me as he was with like pretty much everybody and that he just made everyone feel like they were super special, I didn't feel as bad because I felt like our relationship wasn't what I thought it was. Um, which was unfortunate to find out, but it is what it is. So that was hard, um, but we made it to the merge. We had a challenge yesterday with everyone deciding to like, you had to give everyone a piece of food and each food was like different points and the highest and lowest point gatherer of food, <laughs> I guess you could say, uh, won immunity. So we... <laughs> Give, um, Gumby actually made a like Donnie Destroyers group chat, which has the majority of us in it. There's a couple people who aren't involved in that, but the majority of us are in it, and we all made a plan to put Gumby and myself as the two to win immunity for some reason. I don't know why I was chosen, but like I wasn't mad about it. I think I have successfully flipped everyone onto Rosie, which deserved. Um, and then I also got a new group forming i called it under the bus because all of our names have been thrown around as like either um scapegoats or big threats or like social players or like people have been lying on us whatever um except me um when rosie told people that i initiated the donnie vote that was true but we're gonna play that off as if like she made it up but anyways, it's going to be me, Donnie, Daphne, James, Craig, Blueberry, and Nova. Because at some point, all of us have been, like, labeled a big threat or, like, like a fake vote plan or something. And so I just kind of want to have that as, like, a backup. 
um, to see where, like, specifically to see where Donnie and Craig are thinking at different votes, because, like, I want them to message in that group and feel good about that group and, like, tell me what they want to do. However, that's really the main goal. Like, honestly, the people outside of it, like Kaylee and Moonlight, like, I don't really see them as big threats. I don't necessarily want to vote them out yet. Um... So if I have to betray that alliance, literally next tribal, I don't care. But yeah, I just think it's necessary for like receiving information. Um, so that happened. Uh, Rosie kind of disappeared. I think she's like mad at me, but okay. All I did was tell the truth. Like you just betrayed everybody. Um, I also, like, got Donnie to believe me. Like, he thinks that I've been trying to save him this whole time and, like, that he's my number one or whatever, which I hate him. He's, like, he's a pathological liar. Pathological. He, like, I, I think he lies just for fun. He thinks it's, like, a game. Um, which, like, we're in a game, but, like, he's... He's weird. Like, don't you have a kid? Like, why are you lying to a bunch of random people on the internet? Like, you have responsibilities. Anyways, that's all I have for the rest of today, I think, but. Okay, so I. Okay, so, so far in this alliance or merge tribe, um, there's so much happening at once. Okay, so there's the alliance that I made with Moon, Vince, Blueberry, and myself, Body to the Floor, to, I guess, kind of like mend things after like my supposed vote out or whatever. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So. There's that going on along with the alliance that was created, not by me. I'm not sure who created the Donnie, Donnie destroy, whatever, the alliance against Donnie. Um, but, you know, he, I've just gathered from that alliance that he's been gathering like a lot of, sorry, like, <laughs> My dog is like, girl, she's like, oh, what are you doing? Uh, anyways, I don't know if I got her on camera because I'm like front facing. I can't tell, you know, I'm not a vlogger, even though I'm a YouTuber, you know. Um, anyways, so like. <laughs> So, as I was saying, um, they're saying that he's asking, like, a bunch of questions and, like, he can't, like, he's not really, like, giving much information. He's just fishing it out of people and that's just, like, very suspicious, which, honestly, I'm glad that's the case because of, like, one, you know, my goal was to take him down anyway but number two, he is now asking for like a ceasefire sort of deal between me and him. And honestly, I kind of want to take this opportunity like legitimately just so that like I can play both sides and see like how that's going. However, um, he somehow found out that, like, um, he somehow found out that there's tension between, like, the people that were in the Vodka tribe. I'm just not sure who told him if that was, like, intentional and, like, we want him to think that. I don't know. So, there's that. Um... But yeah, I was thinking like maybe I could tap into some like villainry 
and like possibly use him as a shield of some sort but like how do people do that i don't know how to do that um my dog doesn't know how to do that um <laughs> she can't help me like emotional support dog like come on like how is she gonna help me through this org i don't know um because like i have to figure out how to play this and I definitely did do want to do this org to like try and figure out like how I could do things differently and like not go like the safest route that there is like the lamest route that I feel like I've always kind of took and it I'm sorry I just noticed like my mother's day gift to my mom which is like a gift card to Starbucks. It's just like casually out in the open for like my siblings to possibly take. So there's that. My ADHD, my ADHD brain is like bonkers. But um, anyways, I'm like, this is just like me like brainstorming like ideas about like, you know, maybe I just don't have to follow that plan of like, Donnie going out first because like if he goes where is that attention gonna shift toward girl hey stop it where is that attention gonna shift towards if he's gone you know there's no one to like obviously target and I don't know it's just something to think about, I guess. So I did want to talk about uh, the thing plan that I had for um, the F11 uh, elimination. So it was about probably 17 hours before uh, the elimination. I was talking to Craig about how we would probably keep be getting picked off at some point like after Johnny and maybe Ro Rosie eliminations we would probably start to get picked off because we just weren't sure if this alliance with the six that we have are actually like reliable so I had this like, plan and I was thinking about it for hours and hours and hours that if me, Vince and Craig as well as Rosie, Blue and Donnie, if we can like get together and eliminate someone that's not from this six, but from the other side and kind of have this like six on the side kind of deal and basically like vote off a, like a really big threat like Nova or Gumby or Cali because they, I, they will probably win the game but they are really big threats and without like doing like a big move it's going to be really hard to take somebody out so everybody really obviously wanted Donnie to get out um, but I did want to keep Donnie because we needed him for the numbers for the plan I first went to Craig about the plan and he said it was a really like great plan we talked about it for quite a while and then we went to Vince about it. He was a little bit confused because he's like, well, you know, we have the majority in the other thing. And when we explained that we aren't sure if it's actually real, he did kind of go, yeah, that is a bit suspect. And he kind of had weird feelings about it too. So he did end up agreeing on the plan. Then next was going to Rosie because if Rosie didn't want to do the plan, then it just, it wasn't going to work. So we, we were all video chatting, uh, voice chatting me, Craig and Vince, just waiting for the responses from Rosie. And I had said to her, you know, I might have this plan because if you don't feel confident that you and Blue are gonna make it far, we can like hatch up this plan. So we're on voice chat, we're waiting for Rosie. And then she did eventually reply saying that she, she is curious and she is interested in the plan. So I went to Johnny about it and of course like he would jump for the chance to be in like a big plan because if it wasn't for this he probably would go out. Um, in the process we were also waiting on Blue because I had asked Rosie to talk to Blue. So um, I talked to Johnny of course he was like you know really happy about this plan probably was a bit like mm, 
not sure if this is real, but like, what else do I have to lose? Um, but he did agree to it. In the process, we did find out he has two idol pieces, which is a little bit scary. They are both um, blockers as well for other votes, so that's good, I guess. And um, I guess like the plan really is now that pretty much everyone is on board, except we were waiting for Blue. Um, but it was night time for me, so I really did have to sleep. So I would hope that when I woke up, it would be like some good news. Um, work up, I was voice chatting Vince and uh, Johnny before work, before I had to go to work and in that process um, Blue had kind of replied and said he was hesitant on the plan because of Johnny and I do totally agree, like I do understand like being hesitant over Johnny because he is a little bit chaotic, he's a good player but a bit chaotic. And, uh, but basically it probably wasn't even that long later that Rosie messaged us saying that Blue leaked the plan and everybody knows and everything just came crashing down. It was really, really bad. I didn't know what to do because we, we had it just a few hours left of uh, Tribal and I just, I didn't really, I didn't know what to do because I also had to go to work. There wasn't a whole lot of time to worry about this. Um, but everyone actually, I don't know how it backfired onto Rosie because I thought Blue leaked the plan, maybe Rosie did, I'm not really sure, they're both probably a little bit, um, questionable, I don't know, but anyway, the plan did get leaked and probably the Alliance chat, I'm not 100% sure, and anyway, the votes, seem, the votes seemed to be on Rosie in the end, which at the end of the day, I guess if it wasn't us, it wasn't us. If the plan backfired, it backfired. Um, but I really wanted this majority of six, but we didn't seem to want to be a part of it. And then possibly Blue or Rosie leaked um, the, uh, the idea in the Alliance chat. But it all fell on Rosie, and I don't really know if she told the plan in a way that made it sound like her plan, like for Blue, and then Blue leaked it, and that's how it fell on her. Anyway, Nova did start messaging me. I think this was like a less than an hour before it was ending and I was just ready to kind of throw the votes onto Rosie because I just didn't know what else to do. Um, and everyone was like really mad at her for playing both sides and leaking stuff, I don't really know. And anyway, Nova had messaged me asking me what I thought about the vote and like, I think maybe asking me why I thought it was Rosie and I was just trying to like, trying to lightly nudge that maybe we should vote for uh, Rosie by saying yeah she's a bit messy but then Nova said um you know what I kind of actually want to get out Gumby and then instantly I was like yes let's do this like Nova our light and shining armor just like comes out with the Gumby vote because we were really wanting to get maybe Gumby or, or Nova out actually with this plan but I will take whatever I can and anyway we and Nova said that oh, I've got some information to say in the Secret Six chat and um, I was like, okay, let's do it. They said, okay, the vote might be Gumby and I was like, yeah, I'm good to vote Gumby and then everybody in that Secret Six chat just was happy to vote Gumby. Probably a little confused. Everyone was probably voting Johnny or had voted for Rosie. But in the end, it was, uh, well, Rosie did use her extra vote and um it ended up being 12 votes but i think nine of them were against gumby in the end so the plan worked the plan worked in a weird way we didn't get blue completely on board and i think he does does feel a bit left out with the vote even though i don't know why he would be upset because i was trying to include him in the plan anyway all right the votes are coming out any second now and i figure i do another live reaction to see how this goes because i really don't know it was supposed to be an easy donny vote but Rosie was like trying to play both sides of the anti Donnie group and then like Donnie's alliance or something. And things kind of went crazy after that. So I switched my vote to her because that seemed to be the vibe. Because that seemed to be the vibe for a lot of people of uh, being done with her. And I ended up in this alliance that Gumby made called Under the Bus where there's a ton of people in it and Donnie's in it. I think he was just like so mad at Rosie that he like wanted to get her out and have Donnie vote for her 
as like a haha you try to like work with Donnie against me and now I'm gonna work with Donnie against you I'm not vibing with the Donnie group but like whatever we'll do it for now who knows what he's gonna do he's definitely talking to both sides still I also changed the font in my parchment that way people don't know it's me <laughs> because everybody knows which font I use now since the Craig boat he didn't even ask if there was gonna be any idols used so I guess that means nobody's gonna use one First vote is mine. Why is it mine again? Mine's the first one, it's Rosie, which probably means it's an odd one out again because when I had Craig's, it was the first one and nobody else voted for Craig. If it's fucking me, I'm gonna be pissed. Whatever, I don't really care that much. I'll be annoyed, but like, oh my God. Okay, it's Rosie again, it says sorry, and there's a picture of cereal. <laughs> what is that about? Proxy message. Why is there cereal? I don't know. Okay, next one is Gumby. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gumby again? What the fuck? Why are people voting against Gumby? So that means like the moonlight, whatever group is voting for Gumby. Gumby again is the fifth vote. Oh my God, Gumby has three votes versus two for Rosie. Oh no, no, no. Not Gumby. Not my boy Gumby. He was, how did, how did this fucking happen? What the fuck, dude? Okay, another one for Rosie. You dug your own grave, or should I say hole? That's what snakes live in, right? I feel like that's probably Gumby's because Gumby left a message for Snow when he got out. Um, what the fuck is happening? Gumby again. Why the fuck would they choose Don Donnie over Gumby? Gumby again? What the fuck? Kaylee voted for Gumby? This has to be Kaylee. I'm sorry, but having your cake and eating it too isn't gonna get you to the end. Love you. Heart. Maybe that's Nova? Why is Vinny typing? Why is every- why is Rosie typing again? Why is everybody typing? Okay, this one is a picture of a Gumby doll and it says Gumby. I'm so fucking confused. Why do I keep getting blindsided on these fucking votes for my friends? I'm so fucking confused. Why does nobody tell me anything? Vinny, nobody's talking to you. Vinny's like, you DM'd me once. Nobody's talking to you. Why the fuck are people voting for Gumby? I'm done, I'm done because I cannot predict what these people are gonna do. People have no fucking loyalty. Moonlight didn't talk to me all day. Like I was the one that was giving her information on the anti Donnie group and she didn't tell me fucking shit. I'm pissed. Like if she knew this was all the Gumby shit, why didn't she tell me what was going on? I'm so annoyed, nobody tells me anything. He's gone, a seven is enough apparently. I'm so fucking confused and pissed that nobody tells me shit. Whatever, I might as well just quit here because it's like, what's the point of playing with people that are so horrible? <laughs> people are horrible. How did Rosie get out of this? How did Donnie get out of this? And how did a good person like Gumby get voted out? Like clearly good people can't stay in this game because everybody is a snake. I'm so pissed. I've had some time to like absorb Gumby leaving and I'm like legitimately really upset about it. <laughs> I'm like actually like kind of heartbroken about it. He was a really good person, a really good friend and you know I hope in the edit that that's true because I felt in my heart that like he was the legit friend of mine in this game. He always looked out for me, I always looked out for him and like for people to turn on him like I am so upset. I'm talking to Kaylee and she's just like, yeah, people found out that he made the group with Donnie. And like, I didn't like being in the group with Donnie, but like, I think Gumby just reacted emotionally and wanted to get back at Rosie like extra hard by getting Donnie to vote against her. 
and like it just was not the right move apparently because it pissed more people off they were like oh you're a hypocrite I guess and uh, they voted out a good person who didn't deserve to get kicked out and they kept some slimy people and I know it's just a game and they're probably fine people IRL but like I don't know I just feel like Rosie and Donnie did not deserve to stay this round Gumby did not deserve to be voted out and I feel like there are some people that are just too nice too much going with the flow going with like whoever's the last person to tell them who to vote you know what I mean but I'm saying that with hurt feelings too so this vote hurts the most like I'm not I'm still in the game but like this vote hurts the most so far Gumby if you're seeing this you are the real one I miss you I'll probably see you on the Isle of the Dead soon <laughs> because me and Blueberry just like what is going on everybody knew the three of like me and blueberry were close you were the real one i miss you i'll probably see you on the isle of the dead soon <laughs> because me and blueberry just like what is going on everybody knew the three of like me and blueberry were close to you i guess so they just kept us in the dark and i'm just shocked that people that you know i thought were cool didn't tell us what was going on that they were cool with like getting rid of you you know what i mean what a bummer and like, honestly, I'm kind of kind of pissed about, hold on, let me check this fucking group chat. I'm fucking pissed at Craig and Moonlight. This is bullshit. I messaged them. They haven't gotten to me. They haven't gotten back to me yet. But like, this is fucking bullshit. I was so loyal. I told them all the inside information on the alliance that I was in that they weren't a part of to be transparent and all this shit and they didn't fucking tell me shit. Like, what the fuck is that? That's bullshit. I'm so agitated by that. Like, Moonlight asked me and uh, Moonlight is sweet, but I'm mad because she asked me to tell her stuff, da 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 vote her well in the rankings and all this stuff. Why didn't she tell me anything? I'm gonna have to assume she didn't know, but she voted for Gumby and didn't tell me shit. She was quiet all day. She wouldn't know she wasn't in the numbers if I didn't tell her. Craig, whatever. I'm like so done with Archangels Alliance right now, the two of them. I'm so agitated. I've been talking to Nova a little bit and I think they led the charge against Gumby. If I'm gonna make an assumption. And like, I'm just reaching the point with this game where emotionally it's affecting me so much that like, I don't even wanna play anymore. Like it's not even fun. Like, it's not that fun to deal with this shit. Like, it really brings out negative sides of people. And I don't, I just don't want to play anymore. Like, a good person got kicked out. And some sneaky players stayed in. And people who say they're nice people went along with it. Like, I just don't understand. And they didn't include me in the conversation. Because I would have, like, said, why are we doing this? This doesn't make sense. Let's stick with the original plan. Like, I don't know why people, people character or whatever, but like, I just don't have the heart to do that. Like, I just want good people to stay in the game. I want a good person to win. I want a loyal person to win. I want an honorable person to win. And this shit was not loyal or honorable in any way. This, this whole maneuvering, getting Gumby out was just so slimy. And Kaylee's like my friend IRL, but like, I'm really, bummed that she's not, not communicating well with me. Like, I asked her who led the charge on the Gumby thing if she feels like she can tell me, and she's like, I don't want to betray anybody's trust. Sorry, Kayla, if you're seeing this. Like, that's really lame right now for me. I don't really want to play anymore with these people. I'm, like, over it. It's not fun. It's the next morning after the Gumby vote, and I talked to Moonlight last night, and we cleared things up. She said things were kind of happening fast and she just did the best she could and I, I'm i just gonna like try to move forward. I mean, I really like Moonlight. I was a little hurt by just like the whole Gumby thing in general, but I'm just gonna try to move on. I'm just gonna do my best to be me, continue like being as honorable of a player as I can <laughs> and go from there. I talk to Kaylee a lot more too. We're good. We're, I was just really emotional last night. So yeah, moving on. I'll miss Gumby a lot.